The sidewalk where 29-year-old Ryan Zenner usually walked at the park now adorned with a single vase of flowers. Somebody we often see at the park uh, from Hacienda could have happened to anybody. Bill Coates lives in the neighborhood and walks the park with his wife and dog every day. They saw the scene Thursday. A man struck and killed by a palm tree that fell down at the South Phoenix Park. Winds were gusting when it happened. What Bill didn't know at the time was who the victim was until we told him today. Kind of sad that it's somebody that we see every day. Both family and sources tell us Ryan was a resident at Hacienda Healthcare, part of the group home there. His dad tells us he was walking with his caregiver at the time, a person his family calls Marvelous. The caregiver was not hurt during the freak accident. This is the second major tragedy the healthcare facility has faced in recent years. Hacienda first grabbed headlines in 2019 after a patient in an incapacitated state was raped by a nurse and impregnated. The facility staff didn't know she was pregnant until she gave birth. That nurse received a 10-year prison sentence, and many staff members left the facility in the year that followed. The facility made many safety changes after that. In response to Ryan's passing, Hacienda Healthcare sent us this statement tonight. This incomprehensible accident has all of us at Hacienda grieving at such a tragic loss. Ryan was a unique individual and someone we loved very much. Our hearts go out to Ryan's family and everyone who loved him. As Bill Coates now looks at the flowers that mark the scene he watched unfold Thursday, he can't help but think of his job writing for a small town newspaper and the final article he ever wrote. And I wrote, uh, the last one I wrote was about walking through the park and, and the, the people that I would talk to. That's how he'll remember Ryan Zenner. And the 29-year-old was beloved by many. His former caregiver texted me today and said, quote, even though he was blind and disabled, he gave me and taught me much more than I ever could have given him, guys. Yeah, it's just tragic. And just to be clear, the situation with the nurse and baby, that's one thing. That's completely this, different. It just happens to be another patient at yes. Hacienda, and it was just a freak accident. It has nothing to do with the facility. Exactly. Yeah. Right, yes. And his caregiver was there, obviously was not part of it. I mean, yeah. he, the caregiver was there but was not hurt. Mm -hmm. But the people, there are people who live in this facility long term. Yeah. Some of them have ha now been there through both of these incidents, right. which is right. so hard to deal with. Yeah, yeah. how unfortunate and just very tragic. Um, Brianna, thank you.